What was that again? Say, say that again. They don't feel light on feet. That's, I can't believe how light they are, but they don't feel that light on feet. It's a light shoe, bro. It's definitely a light shoe. Yeah. In your hand, but on your feet. I think what it is, because it took so long for us to break the shoe in, you're just distracted by the pain. Pain. Good word. I think you're right. The pain adds weight. Pain is heavy. Pain is heavy. Like fear. <laughs> Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another comparison video. And today, we're talking about the Curry 4 versus the Dame 4. Let's get it. So, Damon Lillard and Steph Curry, both lights out shooters. Light out shooters. Lights out. I ain't trying to guard neither of them, bro. Yeah, they can't have the ball. They can't. On the court, toe to toe, I don't know who's going to win because they're both incredible ball If it's a one-on-one -on -one thing, who knows? But today, we're in the studio talking about their shoes. And we're going to find out which shoe is better. So let's get it. Getting straight into it, talking about the traction of each shoe. Over here in the curry, we've got that water ripple effect, which ensures that the traction is kind of spreading across the shoe. It also wraps around in the heel, as you can kind of see a little bit, and a little bit around the toe. A really, really strong traction pattern. One of the best we've had in a very long time. Truly amazing traction over here, truly amazing. Over here on the Dane 4, what we have is the Shark Girls traction pattern I've spoken about many times with these slits in between the grooves. It's a traction pattern that required some breaking time, but once it broke in, it bit the floor fantastically well. Was it as good as the Curry 4? Not even close. Not even close. The Dame 4 traction is very, very good. Curry 4 traction is just transcendent. It is fantastic traction. Super, super amazing traction. Great traction. A sublime traction. Fantastically amazing. Moving on up to the middle cushion of the Dame 4, what we have is Bounce. Bounce is amazing. Not as great as Boost, but it's definitely up there. One of the best foams that I've played in. It's low to the ground, it's responsive, and it gives you great impact protection. So Bounce definitely did the job. Over here in the Curry 4, we've got that Proprietary. 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 We've got that Proprietary. 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 I'm not going to say it like that, but we'll say it. We've got the... No, I had it first time. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Too long. Six and a half hours later. Over here in the Curry 4, we've got the proprietary foam compound. There's two sides to it. There's not a lot of it, which means you get great responsiveness and great court feel, but because of the lack of it, you don't get a great impact protection either. So it did its job, but not the job a lot of guys needed to. A very small amount needed to do just those two things, which were response and court feel, but I'm pretty sure a lot more guards still need that impact protection as well. We won't even argue this one. The point just goes straight to the thing for because there is no cushioning in a Curry 4 at all. Right over there. Cool. Moving on up to the fitting materials of the Dame 4, what we have is this textile mesh with these TPU yarns underneath the mesh and it moves beautifully into this neoprene angle collar which gives you that nice one-to-one -one fit. The one-to-one -one fit of the Dame 4 is probably one of the best things about the shoe. It just gives you that beautiful fit that you want in a basketball shoe. Over here in the Curry 4, we've got that knitted internal sleeve with those synthetic overlays. Now we've got two shoes with no tongues, but just that one-to-one -one sleeve-like fit. The Curry 4 did its job for sure. Felt really close to the foot, was really easy to get on, I thought, and it just felt really nice around the foot wrapped around. The knits did its thing, and then you got that extra durable overlay, which helped with the fit. I think the point just goes straight to the Dame 4. The Curry 4 required a bit too much breaking time for my liking, so yep. it does require a lot of patience, cause it is a brick on your foot out the box but once it breaks in it's a nice shoe but the point just goes to the thing for because the one-to-one -one fit in the shoe is just incredible completely agree so moving swiftly on into the support of the shoe over here we've got that usual suspect of an outrigger we've got this rib cage like midfoot containment but unfortunately what we don't have is any type of heel counter nothing internal external it's just not there over here on the dame four what we have is an internal heel counter the dynamic cables which help lock your foot down and then the outrigger as well. Triple threat support system locks your foot down. I've said it many times, it's a support system that once it's locked in, you almost forget that your foot is locked in the shoe and just provides you great support from all different angles. So of all that, the support I think goes to the Dame 4s. Why? Because I think heel slippage and kind of heel containment is a very important aspect. And if you don't have it in a shoe, there's just no way I can give you that point, if I'm honest. So last but not least, 
talking about the aesthetics of both shoes. This isn't the best representation of how good the Dame 4 actually looks. The all black colorway is super clean. This colorway that I have in hand isn't the greatest, so it didn't look great on foot, but it grew on me. Now in the Curry 4 aesthetically, truly beautiful shoe. Best looking curry of its whole line. A truly beautiful shoe in only not just this colorway, but other colorways as well. If we're talking about the same kind of black colorway, yeah. the More Rings colorway. Oh my God. Bro, I think it's the cleanest shoe of the year. It might be, you know. It's just clean. I'm not saying it's the best looking shoe of the year, but just the cleanest one, bro. Yeah, it's tough. So the Curry 4 is way up there for aesthetics. 100%. I think we're giving it over here for sure. Come on. 100%. Now. Come on. So overall thoughts, looking at the score, the score is 3-2 to the Dame 4. So the Dame 4 takes the cake this time around. Adidas and Under Armour have both provided fantastic shoes for guards. The Dame 4 is a fantastic on-court performer, and so is the Curry 4. They are both great shoes on court, but the Dame 4 is just a little bit better. If you do want a shoe with minimal cushion and really, really good court feel, then I say get a pair of Curry 4s. But the Dame 4 is a fantastic shoe, and I definitely recommend over the Curry 4s. It's really all about what you're looking for in a shoe, but we hope that this video and all of our others help you make the best decision when it comes to picking a shoe, especially for us guards as well. So all right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and comment down below which shoe you think comes out on top, if you agree with us or if you didn't, and if you have tried them both out, which shoe do you prefer as well? Don't forget to follow us on both Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is at purekicks.ig and Twitter is at purekicks underscore TW. So all right, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with everything Pure Kicks. That's it from us. This is the Curry 4. This is the Dame 4. This is Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get it. it.